Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to another video on More Dan. Today, we will be unboxing and reviewing the latest figure from Mobile Legends, okay? This is a figure of Beatrix, and in case that you guys do not know, Mobile Legends, it's basically a mobile game, a 5v5 mobile game, and every year, they will actually release a collector's item, which is a figurine right here, okay? So... Previously, they have released Roger. This year, they have released Beatrix. It's a very nice figure, as you guys can see. So, what we are going to do next, it's basically to unbox it and to review it. So, let's do this. Alright, let's get this out of the box. You can see the beautiful figure right here. So, I'm just going to get it out carefully. So, this is the main figure. It is well protected by this plastic film. Okay, later on at the end of the video, we'll be doing a comparison with the previous figure as well. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so this it's basically Beatrix. Very, very nice figure as you guys can see. Wow. Okay, and it comes with different parts. This is like the crown and this is one pair of its hand. I mean, one of his hand, and this is basically the weapon. So let's have a look at this. How do we put this? Do we put this right here? I think so. But I think we need to get the other hand out first. So let me just cut this loose. Okay. You need to get both the hand as well as the crown out from the later pack. So let's see. Okay, this crown seems to be stuck. Okay, how do we actually assemble this? So let's zoom in. This is basically the head. You can see there's a little hole right there. I suppose all we need to do is just to pop it right in over here and just snap it right in. All right, it's kind of loose, I would say. Maybe we put it on the uh, wrong side. Let's try the other side. It doesn't work the other way. So I think this should be the right way. Just have to push it right in, I guess. Okay, I think this should work. It looks pretty good. All right, now let's put in the hand. This one first. Just pop it right in. I think this is supposed to hold. Um. Okay. Let's see. Let's try to pop, push this in a bit further. It's kind of loose. And here is the um, the gun. So Beatrix is basically a an MM. MM basically means marksman. There are different characters. Um in the game wow it's looking pretty good have a look at this okay so now let's have a close look at this figure let me just remove all of this backdrop you know all these distractions away so that you guys can have a clear look at this figure okay let's have a look all right let's get this out so let's start with the face you can see the face is very very nicely detailed very beautiful looking. So Beatrix is a really beautiful lady. You can see the very nice detailing on the eyes. Just nicely done. Incredible look and feel. The crown seems to be a little bit loose, but still fine. And the hair is nicely crafted as well. You can see the eyes are very, very nicely painted. And let's move on to the gun. So you can see this is like a very modern and futuristic looking gun. She's holding it with her right arm and using the left hand to support it. The gun is really huge. All right. And if, if you guys don't know, this is actually the M4 skin. All right. Moving on to the wings. Wow. The wings are actually like translucent. It's made of translucent plastic. It feels very plasticky. It doesn't feel like acrylic. 
and you can see a nice graduation of the paint from matte opaque light green to translucent light green right here. Looks really beautiful. At the back, you can see a bit of um, Beatrix Babak right here. She's wearing like an armored suit. Just a little bit of flesh showing right here, which is very nice. Okay, let's flip it over. You can see her armored suit is nicely painted as well, but the paint is actually kind of sloppy right here. You are able to see some paint smudges, but that's fine. You can touch it up on our own. Very nice graduation from the arms all the way to the hand. And you can see she's wearing some sort of like a wrist band. Very beautiful. A bit of paint smudge right here as well. Kind of disappointing, but overall I think it's a fantastic figure. All right, a bit of paint smudge here. Oh, it's just some dirt, so it can be easily cleaned off. So you can see the body armor or the body suit looks very futuristic, I'd say. A bit of gum dum style. Okay, very nice suit. She's wearing a body suit which is yellow in color. Some protection armor around the knees. Very nicely crafted in a very aerodynamic shape. Very nice highlights in shades of gold. The leggings or the pants, should I say, is actually black in color. Very cool. And she's wearing high heels. Looks great, but not practical. Moving down, you can see all these like spikes looking, um, gorgeous looking spikes which are translucent in color. This is actually very similar to the um, um, Roger figure. And this one right here looks fantastic as well. The rock. The rock I feel could be more highly detailed because the rock is actually very easily, can be easily crafted and um, detailed. Yep, very nice. And of course, the very nice M4 logo 2022 World Championship. So every single year, they will release a figure and they will actually choose um, someone, a character from the mobile game to be a main star. And the slogan of the last year's M4 is actually Dare to be Great. Very cool. Beatrix Stella Brilliance. This is basically the skin, the name of the skin. So overall, I think this is a fantastic figure. Happy to be adding this to my collection. So let me quickly show you how the previous year figure looks like, okay? Which is from Roger. All right. Okay, so check this out. So this is basically the previous year, 2021. It's actually... It's actually much better than the Beatrix, to be honest with you, in terms of the pose, in terms of the sculpt, in terms of the coloration, I feel the Roger figures was actually, is actually much better. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, yeah, but I'm still happy to be adding this because there aren't many Mobile Legends, um, you know, figures to collect, actually, so... These two are the one and only Mobile Legends figures out there available. And of course, this one is actually not available for sale anymore. Yeah, very nice figures. Um, yeah, I'm actually displaying this in my um, toy room. Let me show you guys in a minute. 